Okay, simplifying radical expressions. Now this says with rational exponents. So let's look at it. Let's use, rather than looking for perfect fourths to take the fourth root of, let's take, excuse me, let's take this fourth root and write it as a rational exponent. So notice everything under here, everything in the, inside the radical, I'm going to put parentheses around that. I want to keep that quantity together. So this is 16a to the fourth, b to the twelfth, and that's all under this fourth root. So I'm going to raise all of that to the fourth power, right? And we've gone through the uh, we've gone through some of the properties here before, but what we have is a power or an exponent of a product. And when you have a product, notice no plus signs, no minus signs. This isn't a binomial. It's what we call a monomial. It's a singular value. It's got a lot of stuff going on, but because there's no addition or subtraction in here, I can distribute that exponent into each part of this. So one fourth can go to here, it can go to here, and it can go to here. It goes to the 16, it goes to the base A, it goes to the base B. So what we end up with is 16 to the 1 fourth power. And what do we do with powers of powers, or exponents of exponents? We multiply them. 1 fourth times 4 is 1. So I end up with A to the first. 1 fourth times 12 is 3. So I end up with B cubed. Now this 16 to the 1 fourth power, 16 just happens to be, and that's why I wrote the problem the way that it did, just happens to be 2 to the 4th power. Don't expect you to know all of the fourths, okay? But 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So we have 2 to the 1, 2 to the 4th to the 1 4th power, and so we get to the same effect here that we had before. This is just the value of 2. So we have 2 with an A with B cubed when we use that rational exponent, some of these other properties of exponents that we have.